YouTube. I'm sorry. Hey, YouTube. How's it going, guys? Well, welcome. It's Friday. I hope you guys are all okay. Welcome along to our third YouTube Live. How's it going? Right. Let me get your comments up on screen here. I'm Lynn, in case this is your first time watching. Uh, maybe you've seen us before on our Facebook Lives before. If so, let me know in the comments section below. And for now, today, I've got some exciting stuff to be talking about. We have uh, some cool videos on our YouTube channel that have just gone live this week. Another uh, coming up this weekend as well. Keep a lookout for that. And I want you guys to help me do some unboxings today. And of course, there's always going to be some CRC vouchers to win as well. So without further ado, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. All right, let's see. Uh, Mel Walsh says hello. Joseph Robertson says hello. Hey, Connor Sweeney. Hey, Sean Young. How is it going? Where are you guys riding this weekend? What are you up to? Let me know. Hey, Oscar. Oh, Oscar's in Wicklow in Ireland. Amazing mountain biking down there. We did a little bit of filming down there back in 2017, and I haven't been back since, but I definitely love to. Kenneth is in Northern Ireland. Nice one. Hey, Sean in Australia. How's it going? Hey, everybody. I hope you guys are all okay. Uh, watching in Cork, riding in my local woods, Kara Woods, says uh, Mel Walsh, MTB. That sounds amazing. Uh, let me know what bike you're on this weekend as well. Tasmania in Derby. Amazing, Sean Young. Some good riding there for sure. Uh, Oscar Cobb is in Carrick. Uh, Ron Isaac says, hi, how are you? I'm really good, thanks. I am excited for a weekend of uh, exploring some new trails that I haven't been to before. So hopefully it'll all be good. Uh, I think the weather's meant to be dreadful this weekend, but I have my waterproof jacket packed. It's in the car. I'm ready to go. So it is all good. All right, Dark Diamond has um, a YT. I'm riding in Germany, Winterberg on my Jeff C. Nice. Uh, going up to Ross Trevor and Tullymore up in Northern Ireland. Enjoy some CRC uh, sponsored trails up there. You will absolutely have a blast there. Uh, Mel Walsh got my 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Comp 29er. Took two years to save up for it, but doesn't it feel so good when you do? Uh, yeah, everybody else, let me know what bikes you are on. I will be on my 2020 NS bikes, my Chromo Eccentric 29er hardtail this weekend, and I am super excited for it. I was out on it uh, this week. I got it all cleaned up real nice and uh, ready to get it dirty again this weekend. Hey, Lynn, hoping to get out for a te test ride on my Kona. Gone oval chain ring to try Tim Chapman. Interesting. I have definitely been wondering about oval chain rings. What is everybody else's thought? Do you have one or have you tried it before? And does it help you get that extra power on the upstroke? Let me know. Um, Connor Sweeney, I'm on a Forbidden Druid with a Ziggy Link. Cool. Ross Stansfield on a Nuke Proof Mega 2019. Uh, I have a Carrera Health. I have a Career Hellcat 2017, which all parts have been changed, so it's just a Carrera frame. A Carrera is what he meant in the first instance. Uh, Giant Trance 3 from 2020. Nice, Sean. I'm riding a Nuke Proof Mega 275 Pro 2018 edition, and it was my dream build. Got every component from CRC. Nice one. I love you folks. Unfortunately, can't ride due to the COVID situation in Bangladesh. Oh man, soon though, soon. What helmet has everybody got, by the way? So I have a bunch of helmets on the shelves behind me. And what I want you guys to do is just say like which ones you'd like me to pull down and see. I will show you them up close in case you're looking for anything in particular. This is a Fox Pro frame. This is a super popular lid anytime that I do a Facebook Live in front of these shelves. People are always talking about it. Pro frame, yes, Oscar Cobb. Um, getting a new Lapierre Zesty full sus tomorrow. Kian, amazing, enjoy it. Um, let's see, is that a new pro frame? This is, I don't know, I feel like we've had it for a while. Like, yeah, I don't, I think it's a couple of years old now. 
Um, uh, I've got the one you're holding, says Battle Pug. Amazing. It's got the MIPS technology. It's also got the Fidlock system, which if you're all th fingers and thumbs when you've got your gloves on, can you see that? It just clips right in. Yep. I'll show you what it looks like on as well. Nice. I think this is an extra large. Uh, Pock Tactile, Tactile Race Spin and Quoron, says Tom Moonlight. Uh, that is the 2019 edition black. I don't, I don't know about that, but because it, I think we've had it around longer than that, but you might be right. So check that out. So someone said as well, the bell. So that's the, uh, the bell fast house that, ugh, that's a couple of years old now, but I still think it looks like an amazing lid. Um, so that's the downhill version. And then there's the, this guy here, which is the super DH version. So that's the super nine, is it? Super niner. Uh, this one has the uh, removable chin guard. So, hey Kaz, Evie, how's it going? I hope you guys are all good today. And so, boop. Now, also, who would be up for winning a little CRC voucher today? Let me know in the comment section below. If you were to win a CRC voucher just to celebrate it being Friday, what would you spend it on? Let me know. Anna says, yeah. Whoa, this is nice. Hey, how's it going? Gladly, says Mel's Walsh MTB. What am I doing? Come on then. I'm, I'm all fingers and thumbs. I need the, the Fidlock system. Right, let's set this up here, guys. Right, let's get ourselves sorted. Yes, please. My son broke his arm on his bike recently. Like has oh no that is grim. I hope he is all okay. Come on, there we go. And it's as easy as that. So as you can see, it's got the removable chin guard, and you can have it for a little bit of an open face lid if you are going up, doing a lot of climbing. And then for the downhill bit, you can add the chin guard back on. Uh, might treat myself to some new shorts. Nice. Hi, Chris Davies. How's it going? Mac, are removal chin bars as tough as normal ones? Good question. I mean, if you read up about it, they do um, uh, adhere to a lot of safety standards, things like that. So you can read all about it. The, these ones have the MIPS technology in it as well, which is so good for uh, rotational impact. Uh, that's what that is all about. But yeah, I think this is a great helmet is my endura mt500 on the shelf of chris smith good old chris smith this one is a medium large that's the one i got uh i will show you it so my head is 60 is it 69 centimeters or 59 i can never remember I and mean, that's a big difference it it's easy yeah i can't remember uh wait i can see Ah, it's 59 centimeters. So this is for sizes 55, 56 to 59. No, 55 to 59. So this is the M Endura MT500 helmet with a uh, choroid technology in it. And yeah, it fits really nicely. Let's see, I'm still running my 2006 Troy Lee Designs D2 Carbon Helmet Reaper. Sure. Uh, Oscar Cobb says, do you know Claire Oakley? Hmm, the name sounds familiar. What's your favorite helmet? Well, I really like the Troy Lee Designs Adidas helmet that I've got, which is, it's a D2 as well. I really like it. That's a shame I wanted to free it from that dusty shelf. I dust it sometimes. Let's pop it on. So... I am right in between size 54 and 55. Dark Diamond. That, uh, that is a shame because, although actually the good thing about this one is it does have some adjustable sections to it inside. There's like two little popper bits. I'll show you that, hold on. Uh, I run a Fox Pro Frame Black, best helmet, hand, <laughs> nads down for me. 
Ugh. Mac, I want a voucher on a stream before, but I never heard back. Mac, when was that? Let me know. I, I'm sorry. I hope I haven't uh, forgotten about you. Right. Let's. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was going to show you where these poppers were. All right, guys. So if you can see at the back up here, hmm, let me come around to you guys. There it is. So can you see that in here? You can adjust this bit and move it up the way. So it just fits, fits around your head a little better. There we go. Right. Now, back to the aim of today is to tell you about the new video that we put up yesterday, which is six of the best upgrades that you can make to your bike if you are a beginner mountain biker. What do you think would be some of your crucial things that you guys could do? If you are a beginner, uh, if you've got advice for anybody that's watching right now who is a beginner, what would be a, your top pick for an upgrade to make to your bike? Let me know what yours are and I will let you know what a few of our top picks are but you'll have to watch the rest of the video to find out uh pedals tires says dom arnold uh shorter stem perhaps says reaper oh, nice we'll be watching that i'm a beginner anna right definitely check it out especially our last one i think it's number six um dropper post oscar great shite and as well on that note we also put up um another video about dropper seat posts if anybody would like me to unbox any of the dropper seat posts that are here let me know in the comments below contact points bars grip saddle and pedals also suspension and shorter stem nice mark lane i like that green lid hi mark how's it going um i can defo agree with the uh dropper post sebastian wants to know did you ever announce the winner for the tag metals giveaway don't worry sebastian that competition is still running at the minute guys great work sebastian guys if you are interested in winning a bundle of tag metals components worth over 500 quid get over to the hub hold on a second search for hub.chinreactioncycles.com and there's a competition page there where you can win grips you can win a bar uh, you can win a set of pedals a dropper seat post a stem anything else and a saddle yes remembered them all so guys if you want to make some serious upgrades to your bike with tag metals components there we go we have got it for you riding without a dropper is so scary now i agree yes the fox transfer would be nice absolutely you would like to see the fox dropper for sure lovely says md nafiz no worries okay right yeah, so there are uh, two videos that I think you guys should watch. Six upgrades for beginners, MTV beginners. It was posted yesterday. Uh, good, thanks, Lynn. How are you? Glad to hear you're going for a ride on the weekend. I am. I'm super excited. I tell you what, guys, though, like, do you ever just have a day on the bike where you just don't have it in your legs? Like, how do you guys um, overcome that? Because definitely this week I felt super tired each time i was out on the bike in the evenings hopefully this weekend will be completely different have you got any top tips maybe i'm not fueling myself right or drinking enough perhaps or what i'm not sure but uh yeah i just take it slowly if i get tired what's the solid green helmet in the very middle of the show that's the belfast house um i think it's called the super niner is that right I always forget the name of that and usually Neil is here to tell me. I love this one because it's a matte helmet up top and then glossy at the sides. If you look at that, how nice is that paint? Uh, I sit and eat the energy bars and sing a song and enjoy nature till I think I have recovered. I love that. Oh, Seb went on a 14 mile spin yesterday. Amazing. 
pop into the granny ring and just cruise it out. I like that. Um, is there a pedal you can show? Yes, guys, I have so much to unbox for you, honestly. Right, here we go. I've got some fun pedals. First of all, though, I promised you guys the Fox Transfer Dropper. So let's check that out. And then once I've unboxed that, I reckon I might do a little giveaway. What do you guys think? Uh, top tip, eat a lot of carbohydrates and use a foam roller after every ride. Cold slash warm Epsom bath salts help. That is a good one. I just use an e-bike. I mean, battle pug, that is a good idea. Um, okay, let me get the camera a little lower uh, so you can see this all. Giveaway would be amazing. It would. Here we go. What e bike do you use? Well, um, I don't have an e bike, unfortunately, so I don't use any. I just use my bike and my legs. Uh, is it safe to ride while wearing a mask during this pandemic? That is your, your choice, I suppose. I think. If you're going to be on the trails by yourself, should you know, do you require a mask? I'm not sure, but definitely have good mask protocol when you're out in public and uh, in crowds and going to shops and stuff and just keep your hands clean. Uh, but yeah, seek the internet for more advice. Uh, what bike are you riding? I am riding an NS. Uh, Chromo Eccentric 2020 29er. I love it. It's a hardtail and it's awesome. I just got it about five or six weeks ago and it's my first 29er and I am all about that life. Right. That's all that comes in the box with the Fox Transfer. Check this bad boy out though. Nice. Hardtail for the win. Oh, the dropper looks sick. Hardtail's rule um what is it that i need to get my voucher that i won on a live stream giveaway um yeah i don't think your voucher is going to cover the cost of this but uh what you need to do is email hub at chainreactioncycles.com i think that's the email let me just double check uh, I'm in need of a new dropper. Do you get free bikes? I don't, um, but I do get some free stuff sometimes, so that's exciting, but no free bike. Maybe one year. Maybe I should keep asking. Uh, that is sexy, says Tim Chapman. Yes, it is. Check this out. It looks so good. Transfer fox. Uh, yeah, do you guys have any fox components? Let me know. Uh, maybe you've got fox fork up front is this the dropper for you how much are the vouchers worth uh 20 pounds today what do you think of that uh got a fork and a shock harry rylance nice keep asking they'll give in eventually uh, well that's true maybe that's what i should do um was there a coupon code? I'm a bit late. david don't you worry guys if you've just tuned in hi welcome along i'm lynn and I'm just unboxing a bunch of stuff. If you guys call it out that you like to see on the shelf, then I will bring it down and let you guys see it up close and personal. And in the meantime, I will also give away some CRC vouchers. So there we go. Nice dropper. Fox shock and forks and grips. Tim Chapman. Nice. Um, Oscar, have you ever met any of the Chin Reaction team riders? Yes, I have. I saw them all this year in February at the team camp. So I met Nigel and Elliot and Kaylin and this other guy that they have riding for them called Sam Hill. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He is actually pretty good on a bike. So that's good. Um... I've got everything from Fox you can have on a bike, Dark Diamond YT, nice. Uh, can you do a pedal giveaway? I did, I did uh, two pedal giveaways recently. I gave away um, a double set for you and a friend and a single to um, 
three lucky people uh, and they were from Crank Brothers, the Crank Brothers Stump Sevens. Never heard of Sam Hill. Uh, Sam Hill is my hero. No idea who this Sam Hill guy is. Well, you should you should definitely look at some of his videos. He's got a couple of like small edits on, on YouTube. You'll probably find some sketchy footage somewhere. But um, yeah, check it out. I think he's promising talent for the future. Um, my pedals have no pins and they're plastic. Anna, you need to treat yourself to some absolute lovely pedals like this. If you can see, I've got some more. Hold on a second. PD Rules. Yes, Chris, he does. The Stump 7 are amazing pedals. That's what I have put onto my bike. Um, they are the Stump 7 Danny McCaskill version. So they're pretty cool. Um, what's in the DVO box at the back? Could you take a look at that next? What DVO box? Oh, uh, what DVO box? The one in my hand. <laughs> no problem. Here we go. Right, Fox Factory. You can go away. And back up. Uh, love Greg Menor, nice. Nuke Proof Horizon pedals are rugged and amazing. They are amazing. Let me see if I have a pair as well. I'm a big fan of Danny McCaskill. He's such a lovely guy. I met him at Eurobike last year. I feel like this is a lot of name dropping and I don't mean to be doing that. Are you planning to race, Lynn? Um, I haven't signed up to one yet, but there is one I want to do in October, but it's not really a race as such. It's more like I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it just, it's, you can sign up to it, uh, but yeah, I haven't signed up to it yet, so we'll see. Here's some more stuff. I wonder, do we have, um, hmm. Everyone is talking about Elliot Heap round here and how he jumped down a local landmark and made it look easy, top rider. He's amazing. And also, back to the six MTB um, upgrades you can make as a beginner. Our last one was get some coaching. And I know that Elliot does coaching sessions. And if you live in the Northwest, then why not try it? Um, what's the most trick piece of kit on your bike? Mine is straight out of the box apart from the pedals that I've put on it but for me I actually love the frame itself and I wasn't expecting it I didn't do an awful lot of research on it but I just looked at it for a while and it came into stock in work and I was like let's buy it and when I picked it up um the frame was way better than I imagined it's just it looks so trick it is um this dark kind of coffee black with these gold specks in it. And when I saw it, I was just absolutely super pleased with my purchase. So seriously though, Sam Hill is a big inspiration for me as he is still running flat pedals. So it just shows that in fact, you can win stuff with flats. I just have to keep improving my skills. Exactly, flat pedals win medals when you are Sam Hill. Um, oh, it's on the other shelves. Uh, oh, actually. That's a Sam Hill flat pedal there from 2018 when he won the EWS in Finale Liguri. Uh, a nice gold one and a gold um, nuke proof grip, a Sam Hill signature nuke proof grip. Nice. Uh, why do I want a fat bike? I think they look kind of cool and fancy a go. Tim, agreed. I mean, how often would you use it? I don't know, but how much fun would you have on it? A lot. Probably. Does anybody else have a fat bike? Let me know. Uh, yeah, with flat pedals, Sam Hill rolls crazy. Do you remember a couple of years ago, there was, um, who what, was it Pink Bike did this video on Sam Hill's line choices versus, um, you know, regular people that were just taking part in the EWS. And when they put them side by side, it was amazing to watch. Um... Let's see, in England it's about 25 degrees Celsius, fairly hot for us, but unexpectedly it doesn't rain as much as you may think. Yeah, whereas just across the, the water in Ireland, it just seems to be raining so much at the minute. Raining right now, and I'm thinking, 
this is going to be a wet ride tomorrow, but hey-ho. Um, okay, let's see. Have you ever been to Carrick and County Wicklow near Dublin? Uh, yes, but not to ride, just to hike about the mountains and film someone riding. So that was good. Um, uh, I see it would be nice to ride in the UK. Hi oh, how's the weather in the UK? Is it always raining and the conditions are actually as bad as it seems? No, it, like I will say it's not always raining, trust me. But, uh, you know, bring a raincoat. That's all. Uh, looks like you have some roadie <laughs> GP5000 tires on those shells. There's always a roadie that points, that uh, snips those out for sure. Um, okay, let's see. Chain Reaction Gnome in the back. I need one of those. Absolutely. He keeps a watch over us. Right, I have not got around to unboxing this DVO yet. Okay, let's go for this. Uh, can we get a look at that Magura gnome? Isn't it summer in the UK? I mean, yes, but it, if anything, since actual summertime started, it, it's, it's been pretty wet, so that hasn't been good. Okay, let me move these Hope pedals out of the way. These Chromag Daggers, Shimano Dior XTs. Do you guys wish that there were these many bike components and parts and goodies in your office? Um, I can't help but notice that Chromag pedal box reaper. Uh, wait, what was the other live video I was waiting for? Stephen Hamilton, yeah, sorry. At the minute, I have, um, I'm just streaming off my phone and then if I try and uh, do one to like, you know, for the future, I, I'm not sure. I need to wait until Neil the cameraman gets back and we can do a live stream together on the big proper camera and it'll be much more high quality and polished. Right, but also if you've just tuned in guys, please let me know in the comment section below where you're riding this weekend, what you're wearing. Oh, there's a good one. I'll be wearing my Fox Ranger jacket because I think it's gonna be wet. Um, and I'll be riding my NS 29er, so I'm excited. Uh, gnarly Charlie loves winning on flat pedals. You, the video of the CRC guys riding was on our trail in Cark. We built it. Ah, Oscar, nice. Uh, Smithfield Cairns Fox jersey and a new a new Giro D and D gloves. Love it. Um. Mac, are there any hydraulic droppers that are actually reliable? Well, we've just put up a video of our top picks for dropper seat posts as well. Check out on our YouTube channel. You're here, aren't you? Not writing, working all weekend and all week. Harry. But think of the money that you can put towards a new bike. <gasps> now, DVO. Oh, look at this color. Do you think this would suit your bike? I think it would suit my bike. Check that out. Can you see that okay? Um, let's see. Uh, Urban. Hi, Tor. I might go out over the Scythe Downs and it will be short as it's baking here. Oh, roasty toasty over in the Scythe of England. That is lucky for you, Tor. But I hope you have fun. Uh, Chris Davies, River Jump and me shorts. Um... Have you ever been to Ballyhura in Limerick? Kian, no, I haven't. I haven't been to Limerick since um, about 10 years ago. And I did not have a bike back then, unfortunately. Giro switchblade and 100% gear. I do like 100% stuff. Um, what brakes do you have on your NS? I have the TRP Quadium G specs on my Scout and I feel like they may be a bit too powerful. <laughs> um, as a free rider enduro guy I wear a nice pock jersey some black jeans and van skate high shoes it's a good and comfortable setup you know whatever you're comfortable in I like it I've just ordered my Troy Lee sprint jersey and 100% core pants from you lot can't wait for them to come nice Chris Davies what backpack would you recommend Chris I am on the hunt for a, something to put my stuff in that is comfortable. So at the minute I have, I bought an Evoc hip pack. Um, yeah, the jury's out on it because if I fill the bladder really full, which you have to buy separately, but I mean, that's okay. 
then there's not enough room there's not a lot of room for other things but I do like how it's nicely organized with little nets it's like in my car otherwise I, I would have brought it in for you guys um so I, I'll tell you what's in it I keep my bladder uh I make my trail mix up which is incredible it's a mix of like nuts and gummies and um uh, like chocolate covered pretzels for a bit of saltiness. Then I have my Nuke Proof Horizon tubeless um, repair tool, the little bullet shaped one. I have a Lifeline um, compressor, you know, compressed air and cartridge and a tire lever and a mini pump, the pocket rocket one. Um, and then yeah some tissues I think yeah that's about it what's in your packs what do you keep so that bladder houses I think 1.2 liters and then I also have a water bottle on my bike but as backpacks go oh and I would keep um uh I will move my uh oh oh yeah it's there my multi-tool into the um into the pack as well um for a jersey, I think Pock and Nuke Proof are a good choice. Nuke Proof jerseys are great. Uh, how compliant does the frame on that NS feel? Steel frame, right? You're right, Lawrence. Steel is real. Again, it's in my car. I wish I brought it uh, in and you guys could have seen it. I haven't shown it off yet, apart from when I've been in my house because uh, I've been doing some Facebook Lives from home and some of the people who tune in there can see it. Um, do you wear 510s? I do, Kian. I have a pair of 510 free riders in canvas. I also have the 510 Impact Pros, uh, the Troy Lee ones, um, and they are nice. They're bright yellow and navy, but I I think I prefer the free rider canvases, but yeah, that's, that's that. Um, Oscar, why and when did you start working for CRC? Why? Um, because I wanted to do more um, like media stuff. So my old job was kind of getting less and less with like uh, photography and video stuff and work trips. And I really like that kind of thing. So I applied for a job here. And actually it was five years ago today, I got offered the job little backstory for you and I started in the September and then yeah I've been here ever since just learning lots and lots I bought my first bike properly last year um, and then I got my new NS just like five or six weeks ago um, I hate riding with packs I only have a multi-tool with me I live five minutes away from the downhill trails though so if I have a mechanical I just walk home so lucky um, I keep spare tubes, bike tool, compressed air pump and tire levers. That is good. I just, I feel like I haven't had, oh, touch wood, oh, this isn't even real wood, Ikea. I haven't had a proper mechanical and this weekend will be my first time like going away somewhere completely new um, where I have to be pretty self-sufficient. So it should be fine. Um, oh, no, Paul Wookie. Um, I just had my garage broken into, everything stolen, nuke proof mega and an old cube hardtail and all my helmets and tools are gone and insurance are not helping now. I have to start again and everyone's sold out. Oh, that is so grim. I hope the police look into it and find you and get you sorted. Um, now, this is a, a dream job. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good job. I enjoy it. How often do you ride, Lynn? Battle Pug, um, tomorrow will be my fourth time out this week, but that's quite a lot for me. Um, but that sh should be what I'm aiming towards, especially if I do what I'm thinking about doing in October. So, yeah, I guess. How, how often does everybody else ride? Let me know in the comments section below. And while we're there talking about it, let's look at this lovely 125 mil travel, 31.6 um, dropper seat post from DVO Garnet. That green color looks so good. As much as possible. Um, oh, that is rubbish, mate. That sucks. I hope you get your stuff back. Yeah, Mel, agree. Uh, Paul, I really hope you do. I ordered a Camelback hydration pack off yourselves, got it and realized it was too small. I was thinking of taking out the reservoir just so I can put my essentials in, just so I can fit it in. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I think I have a Camelback 
from years ago as well and it literally only fits the bladder and then there's like one small little zip at the front and you really can't fit much else in apart from that but it's kind of good if you just want to wear your water and that's it um i just carry my park tool uh when i go to my local jumps three miles away and there's a bike shop two minutes away that is brilliant yeah i used to ride every day oh paul ah. um yeah what travel is on my bike kian that's a good question i feel like i should know this but i don't let's have a look restart try tonight god does anybody just really ignore uh ns uh centric promo 29er okay let's have a look um Oh, I just love this bike so much. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, what, if you guys have just tuned in as well, let me know what bikes you have. So let's see. Thanks, police not helping much, but cheers all. Oh, I really hope it goes your way. Let's see. There we go. Um, what do you think about the RockShox Zeb? Oscar, great question. So I saw the RockShox Zeb for the first time in February at the team camp. And if you're interested, we did put up a video about it this week as well. Uh, no, ne last week. God, the time is going so fast at the minute. Um, go check that out. And you can see what um, the rest of the team uh, especially Sam Hill, what they thought about it while they were testing it at the Rock Shocks test camp, which was super cool to see. So to set the scene, there's this massive SRAM truck and they set it up all this awning and then it has like just full on a tent full of like um, workshop stuff and all these mechanics, pro mechanics, tinkering with the suspension, getting it all set up perfectly and um and then there was a bit at the the bottom end with the caterers and the team would just sit about and uh get themselves all ready and then they would go out there was uplifts that would take them around all day it was really cool uh i read a custom nuke pro scout nice um have you ever tried wireless droppers yes well I haven't personally i've been on a video shoot where um we had the magura wireless dropper uh but we forgot to charge it so that was a dramatic start to that shoot i remember that that day but the boys uh the team crc they use the axs stuff uh so they have the dropper seat post um the the shram uh dropper seat post um i heard the wireless droppers are slow I mean, it works for, uh, oh, actually, interestingly, no, they don't have to be slow because there is an app and you can adjust it all. You can set it up and, and sort of nail it down for how you want it. So that's kind of cool. Um, what is your opinion on the Nucleus VR27 for a starter bike? I had one and was thinking of upgrading parts. I'm thinking about a dropper um or some 140 mil forks which should i go for jack i uh, i think the the nucleus is a great starter bike my bike was the Santier, but um neil who's the cameraman here he usually apart from when it's my iphone um he he has a nucleus and he loves it uh first thing he upgraded was the grips actually um which is one of the um the things that we say that you should be upgrading on your uh on our video that we just released but why do you think that you want to make the upgrades that you're thinking about i would say um a dropper would probably be one of the best upgrades you could go for um I just think it's it's going to be much more useful for you unless you really think that you're going to need the extra travel on the on on your fork. What well, what do you, what does everybody else think? Uh, greetings from Sedona, Arizona. Great. Hi. How's it going? Welcome along. Uh, Seb has a nuke proof mega, courtesy of me. Yeah, that is true. Sebastian won a nuke proof mega in twenty eighteen. I want to say for the International Day of Dirt, we were given away a nuke proof mega, and he won it. Um. Oh, Claire works for CRC, and she sold me the bike. I think she works in retail. She, yes. So Claire 
I was like, I know that name. She, yeah, she works in the voucher store. So, yes. Uh, yes, 2018. What's your take on oval chain rings? Hayden, I want to know more, definitely. So, um, when I started CRC five years ago, I remember CRC had just done a video on absolute black oval chain rings. And I know that, um, I think, isn't Matt Jones sponsored by Absolute Black? He has um, oval chain rings on his bikes. I'd like to know more about them. What do you guys think? Absolute Black have awesome oval chain rings. Grips and pedals uh, are important upgrades. Also, brakes for sure. Yes. Right. Guys, bear with me because I want to make sure that I am giving you guys the right email address for if you win a 20 pound voucher today. So this is exciting. Um, what, I'm just doing it live, just texting to make sure. I hope you guys can talk amongst, your, amongst yourselves. What is the email address for the hub? Hmm, nice, there we go. All right, the best thing I've ever won was Matt Jones' old TRP breaks from one dream hardtail to another. Reaper, that's amazing. Uh, I think he's sponsored by Brink, which sell a lot of absolute black. I'm not sure. Um, well, I have just installed them and I think they're pretty good. Amazing. Uh, have you ever won something from CRC? Well, I mean, I, I work for CRC, so, uh, you know, I just getting to come to work is a prize in itself. Um, I, has anybody else watching though? Ah, it was right. I knew it. Hub at chainreactioncycles.com. As I said to you guys earlier, I've never won anything, says Anna Wright. I usually have to ride my suspension SR Suntour 120 mil, uh, as I usually just ride downhill, but I'm honestly torn between the two. Don't worry, I already have upgraded to Sam Hill Nuke Proof Grips. Okay, guys, right, here's the thing for everybody watching right now, you have to comment below to help Jack out either say dropper or fork which should he upgrade to because he's got sr suntour 120 mil fork uh and no dropper seat post am i right in saying that jack dropper says steven apple says fork hello there are you planning to ship to peru again pages from the us are already sending to us i am not entirely sure at the minute uh you'll have to check out like the chain reaction cycles, me and Paige, and they'll be able to help you. Um, Dom is saying fork, Lawrence is saying dropper, Chris is saying fork, Jacob is saying dropper, Anna is saying fork in my opinion, Stefan is saying fork, Reaper is saying fork, MD is saying dropper mate, Paul Wookie is saying dropper, uh, fork 100%, fork, dropper, fork, dropper uh i don't know oh my goodness i feel like we've definitely given you like a 50 50 split there uh thought i would never need a dropper until i bought one what an idea exactly i've been lucky that i've never not owned a bike that has had a dropper so that's pretty good but um yep it's up to you once i got a dropper i couldn't go back you see this is it i like i would i would say dropper but also, make sure, Jack, if you uh, enter our Tag Metals giveaway, at least it has a dropper in it, some spare grips, a saddle, a new handlebar, and a stem. That's pretty good. If you were to win that, you would be pleased. Uh, plus, my bike is internally rooted for a dropper. Dropper changes your riding style for sure. A fork will improve your downhill riding a whole lot better than a dropper. If you ride more enduro, that, then get a dropper. Reaper, that is a perfect way to sum it up for sure. I've already entered. Don't worry. Good. That's what I like to hear. Jack, go for the dropper then. How do you enter the Tag Metals giveaway? Oscar Cobb, great question. All you need to do is go to hub.chainreactioncycles.com and the competition article will be right up there. But while you're at it, we've got loads more articles and buying guides on all sorts of things. So definitely check that out. Um, dropper is a great investment. Glenn agreed. Uh, David, I got a dropper and I ride an XC hardtail. Yes. 
Sebastian, I want to get some nuke proof horizon pedals. Well, Sebastian, I think at the minute they are super out of stock. I don't know when they're due to come in again, but keep an eye out because yes, I know somebody who wants a pair of the purple horizon pedals. They are out of stock at the minute, but they look so good. So good. Has anybody else got anything on their list that they would like to buy pretty soon? And if so, would a wee £20 voucher be good for that? Let me tell you. Right. It's giveaway time, guys. It is giveaway time. Oh, Ragley Big Al. Oh, Stephen. Oh, my goodness. Same. Such a nice looking frame. Oh, my goodness. Some new grips and pedals. Some nuke proof bars. Love it. Right. Let me set a... Um, a timer okay and listen in okay the email address if you're the winner today that you have to email is hub at chinreactioncycles.com okay I'm gonna set a timer here um ba -ba 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 clock and timer and set it for three minutes, okay? And in the comment section below, you just have to comment, really. Say anything at all. Um, the nicer, more interesting, the better. And I will be scrolling through and finding out who is deserving some CRC vouchers and picking some people at random. So off we go, three minutes starting now. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, 510 box at the top, I can absolutely and there's something in it. Let's have a look for you. Ooh, nice. So these are the 510 Freerider DLXs. Check these guys out. Oh, they are nice. They look so smart. So they are a UK 11. See those? They, oh, with a stealth rubber, those are nice. Uh, in the CRC, no. Um, I went for a 5K ride around the trails with my six-year-old daughter. She said it was the best day ever. Yes, Steve, nurture that, definitely. We just want more boys and girls in the future riding bikes. That's what it's all about. Yes, please, I will give to my son who broke his arm. He needs new gloves as they had to be cut off him. Kaz, oh, I hope so, right. Let me get some water. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, keep your comments coming in, guys. And we will give away some CRC vouchers here. Ooh, they are nice. If you see anything else on the shelves that you would like me to unbox, let me know. Um, how is it like to be a girl rider? Uh, I don't know. The, the same as maybe a boy rider. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I just think like the, the mountain biking community have been super friendly and supportive. I definitely think if you are a beginner like me, definitely going out for a ride, like find out if there's local groups in your area. Shout out to MTB for Fun and I. We've been going out for uh, rides with them down on some of the local trails and it's more experienced people who will take you about and show you what's what. It was pretty good. Um, Royal Racing is so great. Does anybody use it? That blue helmet at the top would be nice to see. Yeah, of course. This is a layout. Uh, which one? model of helmet is this dbx 4.0 now excuse all the pink stains on it that is from when we were playing paintball last year and we were wearing uh this helmet to see about different types of body armor and protection you can check that video out on our youtube as well such a funny time harry please can i see the airliner yeah, of course. No worries. I'll take that out. Um, that vid was funny. <laughs> Thank you, Seb. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm building my own full sus bike with my friend James Pryor. Amazing. Uh, what is the name of the dropper post from the Tag Metals giveaway? Oh, you. Stop. Um, oh, what is the name of the dropper post? Oh, come on, Lynn. You should know this. Hold on a second. I will look it up. Hold it. 
CRC hub, go into hub.chainreactioncycles.com, scrolling down to the third article, Win a Tag Metals Components Bundle. It is, it's a T1 dropper seat post from Tag Metals. So good. Super good. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, right. Now, I suppose it is time. What's, oh yes, right. Airliner to show you in a second. First of all, let me pick someone to win a £20 CRC voucher. What shoes are the black 510s? Like what model? They are the 510 Freerider DLX. So nice pick. Okay. I'm only 15 and I broke my nose. Need to get a few parts to piece my bike back together. Good luck, everyone, says Jack Connor. Here we go. All right. Got my scrolly finger there. I'll look the other way. So we are going to do two picks. Oh, so two people right now are about to win 20 pounds. The first person, 20 pounds CRC voucher is Hayden Millward. Hayden uh, oh, I can't pin you, like uh, Facebook. Uh, Hayden Millward, congratulations. You've just won a £20 CRC voucher. Hooray! Right, let me write your name down. Hayden Millward. Okay, and then let's see. Well done, Hayden, well done. Hayden, I hope you're still watching. CRC is the best bike shop. Thank you. Okay, Hayden, comment below if you have found out that we are giving you 20 pounds. Well done, says Battle Pug. Are there more vouchers coming in this video? Right now, yes. So let me get to scrolling again. If you have commented, <gasps> I need to tie my nose. Um, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. The next person who's going to win is Anna Wright. Anna Wright, congratulations. A £20 CRC voucher is going your way. Anna Wright. Anna Wright, now you just won £20. I'm going to tie my shoelace. You should get Velcro shoes. Yes. All right, here we go. So, well done, Anna. Nice, Anna. So proud. Well done. Anna, no way. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, how many entries do we get for the Tag Metal giveaway? Seb, just crack on and enter as many times. Uh, oh, Hayden, well done, Anna. Good. Hayden has commented on that. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Good. So that is both Hayden and Anna, who have both uh, been notified that they are the winners. Hub at chainreactioncycles.com. Email, I'll be looking out for your names, Hayden and Anna. And I will deal with you guys on Monday when I come back to work to get your, uh, your voucher codes to you. Now, I suppose we could do a little bit more unboxing and then maybe give away another couple what do you guys think you, you up for a bit of that i like that blue helmet oh absolutely more vouchers for today i think because you asked so nicely i'm gonna say yes because it's friday i'm feeling good i'm riding this weekend and i am feeling buzzed now who wanted to see this airliner does anybody use any tire inserts um if you have gone tubeless let me know i would love to know actually uh, best presenter out there, Oscar. Oh, very kind. Yes, please. Ooh. Now, these are from Victoria. It is not a pool noodle. Well done, both. Yes, nuke proof. Nice, Oscar. What do you think of them? Like, do you think I should get some for my bike? Well, I need to convert to tubeless, first of all. I did that with my Vita Santier, and uh, I did it myself with a little bit of uh, a watchful eye from Matt. Um, you, if, you've, if you don't know who Matt is, he's the one who presents all the videos on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm running the nuke proof one, says Harry. Really good, because you're on a hard tail, so uh, give, less give back there. You know, I'm really tempted to. I really am. 
I think I might. Oh, it's exciting. Because if I'm going to convert to tubeless anyway, I might as well just get it done. Uh, if you were to buy a nucleus, would you buy the maroon one or grey? Oh, Jack, if I'm honest. And like, I'm, yeah, I'm just not vibing with either of those colours this year. Whereas the Vetus, um, oh, what is the one? It's like the angry unicorn. Is that the Soma? I mean, I know you're looking for a nucleus, which is your entry level hardtail, but still. Uh, I'm glad I convinced you to get the art. You know, I, I think I might do it. I think it's going to be my next bike, uh, my next purchase when I'm buying some more bits and bobs. Um, had the liners on my Halo wheels worth the protection? Exactly, and you can run lower tire pressure as well. Uh, can you buy the Vetus frames? No, I don't think you can buy them just stand alone. But don't quote me on that. Um, I'm an experienced rider and I still run tubes. Never had a flat in two years with my Maxxis tires. Uh, is that a problem that I'm still running tubes? No, I guess not. I mean, it's all like... The benefits are that if you do get a puncture, then you're a little bit more protected. You can run lower tire pressure um, and the weight is less, but you know, uh, you can't buy Vetus frames. Thank you, CRC. Uh, you get more grip out of them. Uh, I run a slime I run the slime inner tubes and I haven't had a puncture yet and I installed them like five months ago. They are great. Yeah, well, let's have a closer look. So you can see here where you've got the little hole for your valve. So that is the profile of there. There we go. So yeah, let me know who, I, I don't know who the original guy was that wanted to see these, but are the Vittoria airliners going to be the uh, the ones for you guys. And also, everything I've talked about today has related back to videos that we have put up recently. But if you can check out our video from a couple of weeks ago regarding um, upgrades that you can make to your, instead of buying a new wheel set, that'll be the video for you. Uh, ah, look at this. Does CRC sell Kenda? And CRC are commenting below. I love whoever this sneaky little CRC elf is in the corner. Damn, I only just started an interview for a new job. Ragga MTB, congratulations. I hope it went really well. Don't worry, you have missed two voucher giveaways so far. Young Hayden and young Anna have both won £20 CRC vouchers, but... I'll be giving some more away. Lynn, I was thinking of upgrading my tires on my nucleus when I'm getting my forks or dropper, but what tires should I go for? Mm. Jack, great question. And I suppose that has to do with the type of riding that you are getting up to. So um, if you're interested, then there's always so much tire chat going on. I bet a lot of people... Uh, will be commenting below with uh, with what their tire choices are. Let's have a look and see what it's people. Oh, look at this. Chain Reaction Cycles are saying Schwalbe tires. I definitely really like the Schwalbe tires that were on my uh, Vita Sontier, the VRS. I did have, I do have um, WTB Trail Kings on. I'm, I'm just bouncing about like crazy. No, I... What I will say, though, is when I was in Dava, which is a local trail here in Northern Ireland, if you're not local, um, a couple of weekends ago, and it was soaking the whole day. It just poured down. They were super, oh my goodness, I felt so in control on my bike. So they were great in the wet, I tell you. Schwalbe Magic Mary says James Pryor. Uh, Magic Mary for the front and hands dump for the rear says Sebastian. Tire inserts, yes please. Me, uh, me local MTB park just put new surfaces down. Uh, made mainly of flint. Oof, ragged. Are you in wheels potentially? I'm not sure, maybe. Um, I highly suggest Maxxis tires. Uh, run a DHF2 at the front and some faster rolling Max's recons in the back. All the casings are good. Does anyone recommend suspension seat posts for a hardtail bike? 
Grace Davies, do you mean like a drop receipt post? If so, yes, definitely. Um, use those and they're not bad tires. Uh, nice. They are underrated tires. There you go. Well, I hope that uh, sorts out your question. Now, what? Uh, oh, Oscar asks, Lynn, what's your favorite thing to do after a ride? Uh, definitely have a chat with all the people uh, who you've just been on a ride with in the car park, just, you know, chatting nonsense and getting yourself all packed down. Finish the rest of your trail mix that you maybe ate and then, um, yeah, drive home and maybe order something absolutely dirty from the takeaway, which is definitely not good to do, but it tastes so good and you just are like, oh, and then just oh, relax and think, yes, probably shower as well because you're stinking. Um, oh, let's see. Do, 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 do you have to spend over £100 to redeem the vouchers? No, I'm giving you a gift voucher of £20. You can spend £20. No doubt, though, you'll probably think, oh, I'll just add it to something, you know, like more expensive and just take the £20 off. Um, okay, let's see. Um, well, you have earned the takeaway. That is true, Oscar. Um Oh, we're talking about what tires we have tried. Nice. Anyone heading to Canuck Chase in uh, a week's time? Tim, unfortunately not. Uh, yeah, like some new tires. Exactly. Hayden, is that what you're going to buy? We've been doing a lot of tire talk right now. Uh, recons for the Australian conditions. Nice, Steve. WTB Vigilante is also a good tire. Thank you, CRC. YouTube elf, I appreciate your comments. Um, I was keen on the Michelin tires, but I usually do downhill. At the moment, I have a Vigilante 2.3 on the front and Trail Boss 2.25 on the bike. I would like to back. I would like to go 2.6. Jack Connor, I mean, if the Michelin tires are good enough for Team CRC, then you know it works for Sam Hill. That is for sure. Michelin Wild and Jury, grippy but draggy, apparently. Um, no riding for me as the garage was broken into, so no riding. Ah, poor Paul. Ugh, too right I am here and I love it. I love that you are going to be spending your £20 voucher on some tyres. Let's have another little giveaway and see what else you guys will be buying. Another lucky winner. How many of you wonderful people are subscribed to our channel? Great question. I want that to be maybe what you guys are talking about as I set the timer for the next three minutes. Thank you, wonderful CRC elf. Um, oh, I am, says James Pryor. I subscribed since 2018. Nice. Have you ever tried the clugs, Lynn? No, I haven't. Mm. Oh. It's thirsty work talking to you people today. I tell you, legend, nice battle pug. You are amazing. Have for years hidden. What a guy. Mm. Have you crashed? Yes, I have. I had my first proper over the bars um, in October. I really, it was shocking, but also not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Once it was done, I was like, oh, okay cool it wasn't so bad uh, only for like the six weeks after where sneezing was really sore or trying to get out of bed was kind of painful but actually the you know the impact it wasn't the worst but yeah I just oh it's a shock to the system I tell you big CRC fan Gregor amazing what could top you off today is winning a 20 pound voucher so get your comments below guys and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch the latest videos that we've been putting up in the last week or two that I've been banging on about this whole video. How many bones have you broken? None. Touch wood. It stays that way for a while. Oh, trail riding is the best. Epic. I've never tried clips. Me neither. Wicked so hardcore, Lynn. I mean, I wasn't. I was like, <laughs> a shadowy tear in the car park because it was really sore. <laughs> I like this Oscar. It seems to be a good judge of character. Ah, uh, I thank you. Wait, Oscar has been lovely. The C wait. 
Also, though, the CRC elf sounds like a legend. Well, that is true as well, I suppose. Love this so far. Oh, thank you, James. Wait, I did a little squat there. Well, it's not a squat, a little lunge uh, in excitement because it's exciting to see that you guys are into this. There's 49 seconds left, though, so that's exciting. And then I'm going to pick another £20 winner. Yay! My first MTB crash, this is Reaper, ended with having a Salter Harris type 2 fracture on my right tibia and spinal fracture on my fibula. 10 weeks in a cast isn't fun. This sounds grim. When's the next time you're going to Ross Trevor for the uplift day of downhill? Can you imagine just me struggling down there on my hard tail? Do you like Ross Trevor though? Oh, that bit at the start though, was a lot of climbing, I tell you. What's your opinion on e-bikes, says It's Hello. I love them. Um, I don't own one, but um, they are super fun. And excuse me, I'm telling a story. If you are short on time and you just want to be ripping up those climbs, like what I was just saying, Ross Trevor, the start of Ross Trevor is like a really big climb. And if you just want to get that done, out of the way and then enjoy the rest of the day then crack on they're a little heavier than other bikes but as technology progresses the batteries are getting smaller and that can only be a good thing that's one that's one bit of the uh the kind of i'm excited for for the future to see how small the batteries get and that's the thing when we go to shows like Eurobike, although at the minute i don't think it's going to be on this year but you get to see how many e-bikes there are being designed and how slimline the batteries get. So yeah, that's a, that's a little uh, tidbit for me on e-bikes. What do you guys think? Um, I think an e-bike is the next bike I'm going to get, says Paul. Nice. Uh, Sam Hill components look epic. That is for sure. I have broken my elbow, knee and thumb. Not nice. Oh, the CRC elf brings the happiness, the gift of happiness and goodwill. Don't be confusing him with the, the CRC elf. Uh, no, he just looks after the airliner. Uh, oh, you can't even see that up there. I'm going to move you guys back up again. You're a little bit uh, low down. There we go. Are you back? Yeah. <laughs> the CRC elf rides a tricycle, that is for sure. <laughs> CRC Elf, what bike do you ride? Great question, Oscar. Ask him. CRC Elf, uh, what bike do you have? Jack, I have an NS Eccentric Chromo 29er. It's five weeks out of the box and it's such a belter. Um, oh, it looks so good. I just, everything about it, I love. The, ah, oh, it's great. Like the look of it, is so good let me tell you about the look of it it's got um a camo saddle it's got dropper seat post it's got the ns grips that just they're so uh, they're like a kind of gum color and it's got town wall tires which look ace it's got this black frame with like flecks of gold in it it's oh, such a good good spec on the bike go and have a look at it crc elf doesn't ride bikes the bikes usually ride him Hashtag sketchy. CRC Elf probably rides a recumbent. <laughs> David. CRC Elf, do you ride a trail bike or are you a roadie? <laughs> the amount of times I've spent watching these videos hoping to win. Yes, that is your subtle way of saying, hurry up, Lynn. Stop talking about what bikes the CRC Elf rides. The CRC Elf rides a mini BMX. <laughs> uh, yes, it's Chromo. Uh, what fork does your bike have? Um, it has, um, ah, oh, I should, hold on a second, like, I should definitely have better info on the spec for you guys, or I should just have it here. Okay, let's see, it has a 140mm RS Recon fork, it's got a SRAM NX 1x drivetrain, X-Fusion dropper, SRAM level brakes, um, yeah, if anything else you want to know about it, let me know. Okay, probably rides a rally elf chopper. <laughs> uh, looks like a sick bike. It is. Okay, right. Let me get my scrolling fingers ready. And let's pick another two. There's my pen. 
winners of CRC vouchers. Okay, here we go. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I hope it doesn't land on the CRC elf's comments. He does not get 20 pounds of CRC vouchers. He does not deserve them. He does, but he's not getting them because he works here. All right, and stop. David Jankulovsky. David, I hope I haven't uh, butchered your name. Kulovsky. Jan Kulovsky. David Jankulovsky. David Jankulovsky. Nice. Well done. When are we going to the mountains, Lynn? Take me to the mountains. Uh, well done, David. Well done. Oh, David has seen the message. Well done, David. Well done. Do you guys like winning CRC vouchers? I mean, I think I know the answer, probably. But I like giving them away. Dom Arnold is giving the old fingers crossed. CRC just flexed so hard. Uh, for sure, Reaper. Well done. Whoa, CRC Elf. But most of all, CRC Elf gets most pleasure for seeing all you lovely people on here. That is true. Uh, CRC Elf. Very good. Um, yes, I don't whenever. Well, apart from today, Hayden. I mean, his name has cool in it. That's badass. For sure. Um, who doesn't like giveaways? That is also true. Um, I keep wrapping the Vetus Mythic VRX here in Metro Detroit. That sounds so snazzy and so otherworldly than what we are used to right here in good old Northern Ireland. I love that there's people from further afield lands. Where is everybody tuning in from? For sure. Good luck, everyone, says James Pryor. Nice. Thanks a lot. It's good, right? Rad uh, MTB, what tires do you run? They are WTB Trail Kings. Uh, yes, Michigan. I'm from Aberdeen, Scotland. Nice. San Diego, here in Cheltenham, Paul. Very nice. Uh, South Wales, Essex. Lovely. Wow, Michigan. So fancy. <laughs> Oh, in Cairns in Australia, hiding out from the rain up here in Glasgow. Has it stopped raining in the industrial estate? Mollusk. It has not. There's still a gentle smattering. A little bit of fine rain that soaks you through. Sheffield. Oh, I used to... Peak District on the doorstep. Yes. I used to live with a girl from Sheffield. She was a nice girl. She's very straight talking though. Um, I'm originally from Sydney, Australia, but made the move to the beautiful green country of Ireland. Love it. Amazing. Got country in Yorkshire. Yes, Reaper. Same here. Oh, in Surrey Hills. Lovely. Lovely riding in Surrey. What helmet do you ride, Lynn? I ride the Troy Lee Designs Adidas crossover amalgamation collaboration. I guess you would call it. Uh, Troy Lee Designs. Uh, is it the the D2? I think so. Or is it the N2? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it looks really nice. So I don't know if I have a picture of it here. And then I'll pick a winner, okay? You guys keep me you keep me busy. Um Oh, I have a yeah, dodgy selfie of it from the other night. That's just from the front while I was riding, which is bad, but yeah, there you go. Um what is your favorite helmet brand if you had to pick one? I do like these Truly helmets actually. Um, my favorite clothing brand would be Fox. I am a sucker, a sucker for Fox clothing. I have so much. I bought myself recently um, a nice, I'm a sucker for camo as well. Um, I think I have maybe about eight pieces of fox clothing a2 thank you crc elf um it's the a2 sebastian thank you elf on the shelf says a2 love it rain and banger and i oof yeah that is not good it was raining when i left there as well um can you put the email up on the screen i i can't but crc elf will be able to put the email that winners so far need to be emailing to win their prize. So I've written down the three winners so far, Hayden, Anna, and David. Thank you, CRC Elf, hub at tunereactioncycles.com. 
Um, are you getting back on the... <laughs> Always here for you. Are you getting back on the bike trainer? You know, I think I will. Maybe this is the start of it. Um, how can the elf type so quickly? Apart from when I'm absolutely not. Well, I mean, but what a guy. Right, guys, it's quarter past three. I have been absolutely withering on. And for you OGs that started here, we have been talking for an hour and 15 minutes. And that is the way it goes. Now... I hear you, Anna. All my kit's been stolen. Oh, Anna. Um, oh, nightmare. Lynn, I'm going to PM you soon. Can you check CRC's PMs about an old voucher? Cheers. Absolutely, Mark Lynn. Um, probably won't be until Monday, though, if that's okay with you, but I will be sure to look at it. Okay. Uh, I was here 15 minutes before it started. Apple, what a guy. Elf doesn't type. Elf thinks and the PC obeys. <laughs> Stop it. Seriously, Elf, you're too funny. Um, okay. Oh, would love to go there, but I'm currently in Romania for a field trip. Romania is beautiful. Chima Fach. Bine. Multimesc. Coplacere. All my pronunciations of those Romanian words may or may not be absolutely wrong. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, I have been here since last Friday. Stephen, you're so applying yourself. Elf, can you come to Wicklow near Dublin and ride soon? I mean, Oscar wants you to, Elf, please. Good luck, everyone. Uh, what do you reply claim? Um, Oscar, careful what you wish for. Hayden, just say that, hi, I'm Hayden from um, the YouTube Live today and I won the voucher and the CRC Elf will be like, cool, I'll forward your email on to Lynn and she'll deal with it on Monday and get customer services to make you a voucher code. That's some behind the scenes in CRC. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, here we go. Last one. Elf, do you think in the bike obeys? I've tried. It doesn't work with bikes. Ain't that the truth? All right, Mark Lynn, thank you. 2 p.m. It's correct. Your Romanian is spot on. Thank you very much. Right. Honestly, are we ever going to get away today, guys? I hope you guys have had a fun YouTube live today. Let me, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling if you would believe. You guys really crack me up and you're very excitable bunch on YouTube. I am here for that. Maybe it's just because it's Friday or maybe you guys are always this fun and exciting. Either way, I'm here for it. Okay, stop looking then. Uh, let's see our final winner today of 20 pounds of CRC vouchers is I, I tried to drum roll with the hand that's scrolling is Oscar Cobb Oscar congratulations CRC elf Oscar Cobb look at that right here's our winners from today let me fold that over because that CRC 20 pound voucher Hayden Millward, Anna Wright, David Jan Kolofsky, and Oscar Cobb. Yeah! All right, there we go. Congrats, Oscar, says Mark Lane. Well done to all the winners. Yeah, YouTube is better. I like YouTube. Uh, yes, Oscar, you've performed well today. I mean, they're not performing monkeys just to entertain the CRC elf. We'll look forward to Tuesday on Facebook. Hayden, you certainly will. I'll be back. Goodness knows, I hopefully won't be as sweaty as I was on, on Tuesday. I feel like this will be out of context for anybody who didn't watch it. But I'm not going to give any context. Mm. Can you find a bigger bottle then? I have that really obnoxious blue one out in the car. So, yes, yes, I can. <laughs> What an epic job. Thank you. David, how do I email? Just go to your email provider and you just have to email hub, H-U-B, at chainreactioncycles.com. If you are one of the winners today, if you're Hayden, if you're Anna, if you're David, or if you're Oscar, that's what you need to do to claim your £20 CRC voucher. It's hub at chainreactioncycles.com. And that is very exciting. Uh, Reaper knows CRC Elf is a higher form of being. Oh my goodness. Um, 
Context is for the weak. Exactly, Mac. Uh, what is the sheep creeping in from the side of the shelf? Stop it. Oh, ah, it's okay. I don't know why I'm nervous about a sheep, but yeah. That's a good poster, isn't it? It's a, a poster from back in the day uh, when CRC used to do print adverts and then it got made into a canvas. I'm not sure why I reacted that way, that I thought that a sheep was creeping into this set. But yeah, thanks for raising my heartbeat before I sign off for the day. All right, uh, Gregor, good for you. Now, that is me, I think. Uh, so how do I redeem it, Lynn? Sorry, I forgot. Don't you... you ha First of all, Cersei, you have not spotted a mouse on the top shelf, okay? <sighs> you know I hate mice. Huh. <sighs> Once you have the CRC gift voucher, you have to go and you have to choose something. So um, you might like the tires, like Hayden, he's going to get some tires. And then you'll have this uh, unique code that you'll put in to the box at the end when it's like, do you have a CRC voucher code? And you'll say, oh, yeah, do I ever? Beep, beep, boop, boop. And that's that. Nice. Tuesday, 2.30, is that correct? Uh, absolutely. There's a spider in one of the layout boxes. That's okay. I am good with spiders. They are lucky. Mice and rats, not so lucky. They're very scary. So, yes, when will you be going live again? Rad, thanks for asking. Tuesday, Facebook Live, 2.30. Okay, please be there, YouTube friends. And then, for people that just like YouTube, I'll be here next Friday, 2 p.m. So... That's also exciting. I hope you guys have liked the format for today where we've just been chatting absolute nonsense and looking at the cool products that are on the shelves right here. The elf cannot and will not be bribed. Absolute scoundrels. Congrats to all the winners. I'll be looking at pedals. Anna, good luck. I have faith that you're going to enjoy looking for some nice pedals to replace those plastic ones that you have with no pins on them. And you have 20 pounds to take off the top of that. So... Good. See you there, everyone. Absolutely. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in today. Have an amazing weekend out on your bikes. Go for it in a big way. And join me again next Tuesday, Facebook Live, and tell me where you've been and what you were at. Okay. Now, there we go. That was a nice live video. Paul, thank you. And I hope your luck turns around very soon. I'm going to walk around to the phone. I'm going to turn it off. And that is what is going to happen. So, uh, have a good weekend, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.